Ideogram has launched a brand new model called 2A. The graphics look even better for t-shirt design than they did before. The text is more accurate and it also costs you less credits. And in this video, I'll show you how to use this new model and I'll share 12 free prompts with you. So I'm on the home page of Ideogram right here. And in order to use the new model, you need to click into the prompt bar. Then if it's still set to two point over here, then change this to to A. And now you can see this uses one credit compared to 2.0 uses two credits, which is really cool. We've also got some extra settings still. This hasn't changed much. It just doesn't have the color schemes built in, but you could still set this to turbo as well, for example, and then it goes down to 0.5 credits. That means it might not be as accurate because it's a lot faster generating your image, but it is going to be cheaper. So that's a, literally a quarter of the cost of the 2.0 model if it's set to default and it will still get really good results. I've still been running most of mine at default, but Turbo is definitely worth trying if you want to save on credits. Now, another thing that's changed is if we click out of this, maybe this has already been here for a while, but I haven't been on the Ideogram homepage for a while, so I haven't noticed this. But anyway, we now have these categories right here when you're on the Explore tab, and you can just click on T-shirt and it will give you a lot of designs that look like t-shirts in here. A lot of these are older with the 2.0 model, but you could click into them and then you could double check what model it is. You can use the prompt right here and change it to 2.a and then kind of compare very quickly as well. Some of the uh, kind of old 2.0 t-shirt designs that are kind of filtered out right here, compare them and see what they look like with the new model instead or some different settings of the new model. Now, besides that, not a whole lot has changed. After all, it is kind of just a revamped version of the 2.0 model. I'm guessing there'll be a lot more changes when version 3.0 drops and there might be some more differences with the entire interface right here and the graphics will look extremely different to 2.0 or 2.0. A, which is the new one now. And there hasn't really been a brand new model kind of like 2.0 for a long time. So I'm guessing or I'm hoping that version 3.0 isn't too far off. Anyway, let's jump into some prompts so you can instantly start creating some t-shirt designs with this new cheaper model. Starting off with this one that kind of has that retro one color illustration style and it's with a frog in this case and the phrase up here can obviously change quite easily. You can also change the animal itself but I think this style is extremely popular right now so it's a good prompt to use as a basis. And you can see down here the model is 2A, one by one resolution and the style that was chosen was general. Typically I've just been leaving this at auto. I think both general and design still give you really good results for t-shirts with the new model so either one can work and the rendering settings have been at default for me as well in all of these cases. So let me just flick through these so you see some of the other examples. I think this one looks really cool uh, with that kind of box uh, right here around the graphic. Very, very, very tidy design for sure. And yeah, I've not seen many spelling mistakes so far at all from any of the prompts that I've been running. Saying that now, I'll probably miss one in this video. But nevertheless, um, you can download the prompts for free as well. I'll leave a free download link to them in the description so you can easily copy and paste them. Now this next prompt is a very simple yet effective one because it kind of warps your text into a heart shape very effectively. Now this design is probably going to be a good idea for Mother's Day, for example, but you can just put any other text into this and apply it to, you know, hobbies or animals that people love, or you could do it with other family members as well, of course. So yeah, this is definitely a nice, simple prompt that can easily be amended and changed for plenty of different niches. Now, since Easter is around the corner, I thought I'd find an Easter theme prompt for you as well. This one creates a really nice sort of rabbit graphic with a ribbon as well, which is really popular at the moment. And it's filled in by sort of a floral pattern. It looks really great. I mean, the text is fairly generic right here. It just literally just says Happy Easter, which I don't think is the greatest idea to try and get sales or stand out. But I also always encourage you to change the prompts and apply your own phrases or your own layouts, whatever you want to kind of amend a little bit right there. So definitely explore other phrases that work for Easter with this kind of style. It's obviously more targeted towards girls or, or women, but nevertheless, the prompt is definitely really good to help you create some nice looking Easter designs. Next up, we've got a style that creates a very minimalistic sort of one color illustration. And this one was pretty interesting because it has the text inside of the body and looks really, really nice and unique. You can easily change out this prompt. It's not too complex. Change the text up from good night to something else, ideally less words, because if you have a lot of text within this graphic, it will get difficult to read. And of course, you can also change the animal. There's only two instances of cat in this prompt that you can easily swap out right here and then also apply this to other animal niches. But yeah, the graphics style definitely looks really cool and I can see this working across many different topics. 
I'm going to show you the next few prompts inside of my designs because this is where I did a lot of my initial prompting and I've, I've got a lot of really good prompts saved in here at the moment. So basically what they've done in the Dream AI tab is they've added the new model uh, of Ideogrammer here to A and to A Turbo. I've been running 2A most of the time, but the cool thing is if you've got turbo enabled and the new public setting right here, which gives you a discount on the credits, it literally it costs less than one credit for one image, which is you know absolutely crazy. Even for the for the one by one setting that works as well. And that's compared to model two or version two where yeah it costs 2.8 credits. So there's a big big difference. But yeah I was running mostly 2A right here for these results. Now the first prompt I've got for you is this one of a hand-drawn illustration, this sloth. Really nice results in my opinion. The font right here, the groovy fonts look really good. The layout is great. I like this color scheme a lot as well that it came up with in that result. And this is the first time I ran that prompt with a new model. This kind of looks cool as well with the slight shading on the text right there and not too over the top, but adds a little bit of depth. And yeah, overall just looks great. Really simple prompt as well where you can change out the text right here very easily. And obviously the animal at the start if you want to or the, the entire scenery of the graphic if needed. Prompt number six is a style that Ideogram has been extremely good with since version 2.0 and 2A is no different. So we've got real cool down right here and a fishing sunset. Uh, the graphics look amazing. And I also quite like that it's emphasized the word dad in these designs right here. It's actually missed out real in this one on the right. That's probably the first spelling mistakes or text text mistake that I've seen from this new model so far. And not all of these graphics are perfect. Like this guy kind of looks like he's fishing the trees and here there's like two fishing rods, which looks kind of odd, but the, the general style ideogram definitely nails it. And you can easily use this prompt and apply it to other niches, other phrases as well. Next up, we've got a boho style illustration of a dream catcher. And this actually creates some very nice looking graphics. Uh, I really like the color scheme on this one, especially over here. Sometimes we've got the text in a circle in a very nice looking script font. And then other times it's just come out above the feathers right here. By the way, I've only run all of these prompts that I'm showing you once inside of my designs with the new model. And these are the initial results, the first results, which look amazing. Not to say that you'll always get perfect results. It's still AI after all, but I'm sharing kind of the best prompts that I've had instantly good results with right here with the new model. And yeah, this one I could see working quite well for Mother's Day, for example, which is coming up in May, depending on the phrase, of course, like you might want to change that to something else. But the style itself, I think, is going to be quite suitable for that event. And here we've got a bit of a sticker style design almost with this perfectly brewed design. We've got a sort of cartoon kawaii cat right here. And yeah, it's very simplistic. I like that it's got a few highlights right here. It's easy to process. Um, I'm not sure if I like it when the text has such a bold outline right here. That is more of a sticker graphic, not as much for t-shirts, but this one, for example, I could see working quite well on a t-shirt with that layout. Yeah, for some reason, yeah, I prefer this a lot to this one up here, probably because the cat is slightly smaller and there's a bit more focus on the actual text. But yeah, generally the results for this prompt here were pretty good and it creates a very nice simplistic vector art style that could work both for stickers and for t-shirts as well. Sticking to the kawaii style here for a second, this I think is a good example of a result that looks better with the new version than the old one. I wasn't really happy with the kawaii style in Ideogram up to now, but it's gotten better now for sure with this model, which makes me hopeful for Ideogram 3 as well. But if we look at this result right here for the pancake, this is the prompt on the left hand side. We've got a happy kawaii style pancake stack. If I scroll down a bit right here, then we get to this result, which is the same prompt just with the old model. This is 2.0, which it doesn't look bad, but if we scroll up, I think these graphics look a lot nicer, especially this one on the left. The face is a bit weird on the right hand side, but yeah, I think it shows that Kawaii has gotten better. And this is one of the prompts right here that you can kind of play around with and have a try with yourself as well. And in case you're wondering what the turbo version looks like, well, this prompt right here is one that I tested with the 2A turbo model. It's a water color style illustration. It's for plant moms. And I think these results look really, really good considering it's so cheap. Not all of my turbo tests were as good as the non-turbo, like the normal version. That explains why it's cheaper, right? It's not gonna be as great. But in this example, I think it's, it's done a great job. So this is definitely a great prompt you could play around with if you're wanting to save on credits with the turbo model. And another prompt that I got some really good results with on the turbo setting is this one right here for vintage sunsets, which is good news. So we've got ride more, worry less, so kind of a cycling design. And all of these look really good in my opinion, besides maybe this one on the bottom right. I don't love the text layout here. Also the cycling graphic is very huge or the silhouette. Besides that, the other ones, 
yeah, look amazing. Great layout, a great font. It has like a subtle texture in some of these. This one is more simplistic, but yeah, the sunsets themselves look amazing. Yeah, very easy to process these designs. So this is definitely a good prompt to test out if you want to create some different designs with the turbo model. And again, you can amend this to so many different topics. It's not just about cycling. The vintage sunset style works with almost anything. And lastly, another quick Easter prompt right here. This one's probably going to work quite well for stuff like greeting cards as well. But we've got a watercolor sort of reef design text in the middle that you can easily swap out. And it has sort of Easter eggs and rabbits in the reef itself. I quite like this one with the vibrant colors, actually. I mean, here it kind of messed up the rabbits, but that's just to prove to you as well. I, I do get bad results from these AI tools as well. They're not all perfect. It's just that in the videos, I typically show the best results and the best prompts that have gotten me the best results. So you can benefit from those as well. But yeah, nevertheless, quick Easter design right here. This is now, once again, I've gone back to the uh, 2A version right here with this one but nevertheless the results definitely look amazing and if you change the phrase if you are a bit more creative than just saying happy easter i can see these designs are working well too if you're looking for more prompts to use in your t-shirt designs i've actually found a massive library of hundreds of prompts that are ideal for print on demand and the best thing is you can access them for free and if you want to learn how to do so click on this video next